What's up guys, I'm Caleb and this video will be about how I got my first cloud job as an Azure administrator. I'll be walking you through my journey and some of the key steps that I took to getting this first cloud job. Hopefully, what I share in this video can help people in a similar position to getting cloud roles or moving over into the cloud computing sector. Please enjoy. So previously, I made a video called What Does an Azure Administrator Do? And if you check that video on the channel, it has almost 7,000 views at this point in time. I'm sure if you're watching this video, it will probably have more, hopefully. Anyways, during that video, I explained what an Azure Administrator does, but I didn't really explain how I got into that role personally and the steps I took to get there. So in this video, that's exactly what I want to do to share with you my personal experience and how I got into the role as an Azure administrator. So firstly, how did I become interested in cloud and cloud computing? The main place that my interest came from was a mentor that I had. It was through the mentorship that I really began to take an interest in cloud computing. And I'll run you through that story. I was at university studying a degree in business computing. And at the time, I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I finished that degree. So I knew that I wanted to do something from either computing or business related, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do specifically. I had a few options. I had things like becoming a business analyst and I looked at technical support and IT support, help desk engineer, that sort of thing. But cloud was never really an option for me at the time. So I was really in that figuring out stage, the stage where you don't really know what you want to do, but you have to do some research and look into things and find out what specifically I wanted to get into. It's quite a difficult stage. And I know a lot of people who are in that stage right now, or who have been there before, and I know how it feels. So how did I meet this mentor? So I actually met my mentor at a church service. I'm a Christian and God and church is the biggest part of my life. And so after a service, my mentor, who I didn't know at the time, came up to me and asked me just on a friendly getting to know you sort of vibe, um, what do you study at university? And I told him that I'm studying business computing and I don't really know what I want to do when I graduate. So this man turned out to be a lead cloud engineer at a large consultancy in the UK. And so the question he asked me after finding out I was doing something computing related was, what are you doing to stand out? He told me that when I graduate, there are going to be loads of people with degrees. And how am I going to stand out amongst all those people? What's going to be different about me that that would make an employer want to hire me over everyone else who has the same degree as I do? He recommended to me that even while I'm studying at university, I should go ahead and take some certifications to make myself more knowledgeable about the current technology being used in the industry and to also just improve my portfolio and my CV and make me stand out amongst other graduates. From that moment, certifications became a big thing for me. I went and took some certifications like um, the MTA, Database Fundamentals. I also started to study for the CompTIA A plus and one or two others. So I know for a lot of people trying to get into IT, they might find it difficult to find mentors around them. From the example that I've just used, you can find a mentor anywhere in your community. There are loads of people around in tech that could help you a lot. That could be in your church like me. It could be in your football club. It could be your family member or mutual friend. But be sure to ask questions to get to know people. And if you see people that are in tech also, get to know them even more, ask advice, and that could be your mentor just as easily as that. As the guy I met at church was a lead cloud engineer, this sparked a huge interest in me to learn a lot more about cloud engineering. Every couple of weeks or so, I had chats with this gentleman and he told me a lot about the cloud industry and the cloud sector and how things worked. And from there, I began to apply for cloud engineering internships and cloud engineering entry level roles or junior roles. As he mentioned, getting a grad role and internships can be competitive, especially if you don't stand up in some way, shape or form. I remember getting an interview for a graduate cloud engineer role 
at a startup company. I got through the first stage of the interview, but at the second stage of the interview, they said that they wouldn't continue my application process as I didn't have enough understanding of cloud technology at the time. It was a little bit discouraging because I really wanted that job, but it also inspired me to go away and build that understanding and knowledge of cloud computing. And that's when I took the AZ900, which if you don't know already is the Azure Fundamentals exam, which gives you that foundation and basic knowledge of Azure. When I got the certification, I continued applying for junior cloud roles and one of my friends and former course mates then sent me a role which was very suited. It was a junior Azure administrator role and my friend and former course mate thought I'd be perfect because of my interest in Azure. I then had two interviews for that role and got the job as a junior Azure administrator. And if you'd like to hear more about me getting that junior Azure administrator role, I have a video on it. It's called how the AZ900 has helped my career and I'll leave a link in the bio. So go check that out. After about three months of working as a junior Azure administrator, the junior was removed from my title and I was just an Azure administrator. And that also came with a slight raise in salary. In conclusion of this video, my journey highlights the importance of building a great network. Through mentorship, I was able to build my interest in cloud computing and through my peers and course mates at university, sent over jobs that suited me and helped me get into the industry. And I also helped them in the same sort of ways. I guess that highlights the importance of having a network with both people that are more senior to you and also people that are your peers on the same level as you can really help you also. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how I became and as your administrator, please do subscribe. If you enjoy this sort of content, I will continue to make more and more and be sure to check out some of my other videos. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.